Hello and welcome to the series of Rapid Minor Videos. My name is Dr. Marcus Hoffman and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and also the principal investigator of this project funded by the Irish National Digital Learning Repository. The series of Rapid Minor Videos was created in close collaboration with Ralph Klinkenberg and Dr. Ingo Merswa, the two founding members of Rapid Minor. More videos as well as additional material to some videos can be found at www.rapidminorresources.com. I would now like to introduce Ralph Klinkenberg who will talk you through this tutorial. Welcome to Rapid Minor. In this video we demonstrate how to visualize prediction results. That is we use receiver operator characteristics or short rocker curves as well as lift charts to show how well certain predictive modeling techniques perform. As an example we use a direct marketing data set where the target variable is whether a particular potential customer responds or doesn't respond to a mailing action. So let's start the corresponding process. Let's first load some data set containing information about a previous campaign. Now when loading the data set, you see that the target variable or label contains information whether the particular person responded or did not respond to a mailing ac action. The information about these persons contains something like name, age, lifestyle, zip code, family status and other socioeconomic information. Um, the whole data set is just a simulated data set but resembles the idea of comparable real-world data. So we have loaded the data set to avoid error messages for overly long lines. I use trim lines and skip error lines but this is merely for cosmetic reasons. So we've loaded the data set. The first thing is I don't want to use the attribute name because that's not likely to be predictive. So I have to tell the system to not use it and I do so by deselecting it. So tell the system name should not be used by saying invert selection. Okay, so this part is done. Now I would like to visualize the performance of different learning techniques using a rock charts and um, inside this operator you have to add one or several learning techniques which you would like to compare so for example naive base as a forward statistical method or decision trees as a very human readable form of a learning technique and you could add more if you like to but two should be enough for now for demonstration purposes and now if I run the process I will have two results first the example set and then the rock comparison chart so you can see on the x-axis from 0 to 1 is a percentage of the population that I already sent a mailing to. If I start with those with the highest confidence that they respond first and then eventually send something to those where I don't expect really that they answer. And at the y-axis you see the percentage of the responders that I already caught. That means if you sort the cases according to the blue modeling technique knife base according to their confidence that they will respond and you write a mailing to the top five according to that expectation that means you're likely to cover about 70 percent of the responders sending a mailing to five percent of the overall population will provide you with 70 percent of the responders writing something to 10 percent of the population gives you almost 80 percent of the responders so in essence if you have 
an arbitrarily random method picking the recipients of the mailing, you would have the main diagonal. People would just be drawn randomly according to the distribution in the overall population. A learning technique that's better than random guessing has a curve that goes to the upper left. That means it very quickly covers a lot of responders. And so at some point there is no need to send something to all the non-responders. And here you can also see that the decision tree line, the red line, is even steeper than the blue line for the knife base. So on this particular data set, decision trees seem to be even better than knife base. Another visualization of the performance of classification learners are so-called lift charts. So let's go back to the design of the process and add a lift chart. To add a lift chart, I first need to generate a model, apply the model, and then I can use the lift chart. So first, we need to, to learn a model. Let's use base again to do that. So I select once more knife base. And um, well, I kind of have to split here because I have two processes that want to use the training data. So I agree to the system to insert um, an I.O. multiplier, which multiplies my example set, at least a view to the example set. And now I, I can use a model applier. And finally, the lift chart. And this is my process. There still is a red warning sign, as you can see here. Let's check. I still need to define the target class for the lift chart. The persons who respond are those that I would like to look at. So looking at the example set, you can see the target variables were the target variable was label and the values were no response and response. So this process now splits the original data set or at least creates two views on it. One is used for the receive operate characteristic comparison and the other half or the other view is used for um, knife base, model generation, model application and then use in a lift chart. So when the model is applied, three additional columns are added, one for the prediction of the label, one for the confidence and response, and one for the confidence in no response. And actually, if you go into the data, you could just simply sort the rows by the prediction, or expect, no, not by the prediction, by the confidence of response. So click twice, and you can see that cases with a high confidence should be up first and be classified first. So looking at the rock chart, the same picture as before, more or less, looking at the lift chart, oops, sorry. Before starting the process, you still need to connect the visualization. So if you want to visualize the final model, you could connect that here. But we also would have to connect the lift chart plot if you want to see it. So now we can start the process, look at the results. For further information on RapidMiner, please go to www.rapidminerresources.com or www.rapid-i.com. If you are interested in upskilling, please go to www.itb.ie where you will find more information about our distance learning MSc in computing science, in business intelligence and data mining. Many thanks to the Irish National Digital Learning Repository for funding this video.